Hi folks, it's Market Titus. Um, we have another Titus block that's ready to leave and go home. We just showed one of our iron blocks, so we thought we'd show one of our aluminum blocks as well. So this block is uh, our 9-2 deck version. This is all standard Cleveland. Everything that uh, this is meant to fit or replace a standard Cleveland block. Uh, the purchaser of this block actually did order it with a few options. Um, he ordered it with lifter bore bushings. These are regular 875 lifter bore bushings. So he ordered it with that option. Um, the other options he did order was he ordered it final machined. So he ordered it uh, for us to be able to bore it and hone it to size to his pistons. Uh, we've already done the clearancing in it, so it it clears one of our crankshafts. Uh, hopefully he won't have to do too much more for clearing his crankshaft. Um, it does have the cam bearings and everything installed. And those are all sized and ready for the cam. And so that is the block. And he ordered a bunch of other stuff from us as well to complete his engine package. And just a few of the things he did order, kind of some unique things we'll show um, uh, what we do uh, to provide some of these things with the block. Naturally, it gets all the plugs and everything that goes with the block, but a couple of things um, he did order. He already has, and we've already sent that to him, um, was one of our camshaft belt drive systems. But additionally, he ordered, uh, at a later time, he added a belt drive front distributor. So the belt drive front distributor will bolt right to the front of the timing cover. When the timing cover goes on the block, this belt drive distributor bolts right to these two top bolts here and turns off of the, um, the front of the cam. Uh, another thing he did order, um, which is a valley plate to fit his cylinder heads. He has, uh, I believe, AFD cylinder heads. So this is a valley plate that'll fit this block in his head. Um, we weren't real happy with um, the camshaft that he already had. Uh, he wanted to order a different camshaft from us um, because his ideas have changed over the years since he purchased that cam many years ago. So we did a custom camshaft for him. Uh, we're sending him the appropriate size head gaskets. Uh, one other thing that we're doing or did is this is a piece that we don't even advertise, but we do make it. And what this is, this is a distributor plug that goes in where your normal distributor goes. It's nice and short and tidy. And this engine is gonna have eight stack injection on it. So what is gonna be run is um, it will eventually be coil near plug. So no distributor, no wires or anything. So the, the plugs will be uh, done by an EFI system with eight individual coils. And this, he has two options now. We're also supplying um, an Innovators West uh, um, balancer kit that has the magnets and everything built into it. So that will be his crankshaft sensor on the bottom, but he has now two options for his camshaft sensor. One is in this piece that we provide um, because we are working on some new EFI systems for Cleveland's and a very specific purpose why need, we need this very, very short and out of the way with no distributor in the way. That may give some people a clue. Or the other option is this distributor also has a cam sink in it as well. So to run his EFI system, he has two options for a cam sink. Um, the crank trigger is already built in. And one of the other, we've got a bunch of other pieces that are going with this piece, uh, this engine. But another piece he ordered from us was this very nice Steph's oil pan. And this is the model that actually has the kick out on the side so it has a little additional windage um, so it's not just flat down the side of the pan. But this is a very nice uh, pan for Cleveland. Works really, really good if you put this in a Fox body. Anyhow, this is just another engine leaving. We thought we'd uh, show before we box it up, put it in a crate and send it on its way home. Thanks.